Hi, I'm Judy. Nice to meet you again. In the last video, we talked about the first method of injecting botulinum toxin for the treatment of forehand wrinkles, which is mainly suitable for young people. But if some people with eye skin like to use this injection method, what will happen if your patient have sagging eyelids and serve dropping eyeballs? This injection method may aggravate this symptom, such as eyeballs that cannot be raised, or eye skin became more lacity. So for these patients, what do kind of treatment should we take? Don't miss the next content. Let's take 100U betulinum toxin product with 2 mm for normal saline for dilution as an example. The best way is to take micro drop injection. As shown in our pictures, in multiple small and dense injections, the recommended injection dose for each point is 0.5U, which can be adjusted according to the actual need of patients. The overall dose of petroleum toxin is also about 20U. Using this injection method can not only block some muscle fibers, reduce wrinkles, but also retain the function of raising eyeballs, which is more natural. Seeing that some people here may have such question, it seems that these two injection methods have certain limitations. Is there a treatment method suitable for most people? And last longer? The answer is yes. Combination treatment of subcutaneous injection and micro drop injection, upper injection, and I will talk about in the next video. Focus on the aesthetic, focus on your need. I'm Judy, your trusted partner. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy, please subscribe to leave your comments down below. See you next time.